few days ago, I have asked my community, what content can I do for you? And one of the community members named Jake Hartnell said, how to launch an NFT collection on Stargaze. Mr. Jake Hartnell, I am Don, Don Kryptonium, the man who delivers. Yes, today you will learn how to launch your own NFT collection with no code. This is why you should like this video, comment on this video and share this video with everyone. Also, watch this video till the end because at the end, I'm going to tell you how to earn 50 stars tokens in a few seconds. So yes, you heard it right. Uh, we are going to create the collection. I don't know how to code. And if you don't know too, you can make the collection. So um, let's go to Stargaze page because at first we will be creating this on testnet. So you will need Stargaze testnet tokens um, because we will also mint the NFT. So the easiest way to do it, you can go to Stargaze page and go to Discord. So this is the easiest way to actually find how to get the tokens. Uh, accept invite. If you are not a member, you might do a few steps. If you are a member like me, uh, I don't have to do anything anymore. So I have to uh, navigate to one thing. I'm going to start with general and I'm going to type hash faucet. Okay. Uh, this is, uh, this is the faucet and I'm going to hit enter. And then I'm going to hit faucet and it's going to send me to the channel where I can request Stargaze testnet tokens. So it's, it's worth to have them. Um, so what we have to do, we have to type dollar sign request and then space and type our Stargaze address. So I'm going to my Kepler wallet and this is my wallet address. This is for the cosmos. I need to choose Stargaze. I'm going to choose my Stargaze address and type the address. Enter. And as you can see, uh, the bot sent me the Stargaze token. We might need them later. So first we have to go to create collection. Go to the website studio.publicawesome.dev and then we need to connect the wallet. Okay, so this is my wallet connected and then we are going to create collection. So this first part might be a little bit confusing. We need to enter NFT.storage API key. So how to do it? Okay, you have to go to NFT.storage. Uh, I'm going to log out to, to show you whole process. So uh, we have to log in. And I'm going to log in with GitHub because I have GitHub, GitHub account. If you don't have GitHub account, you can create it with your email. And with that, uh, as you can see, I'm going to get logged in. So it might take a few seconds. So I am on the page and as you can see here, we have files and the next one is API keys. That's what we need. Okay. I have created one key uh, already before, so it doesn't matter. We can remove these keys if, if we want. I'm just going to create a new key. So if you don't have key, just hit new key. So how I'm going to name the new key, the name will be Jake and create. So with that, as you can see, my Jake key, uh, let's not make it confusing. So I'm just going to remove this key. So I'm going to keep the Jake key and I'm going to copy the Jake key. So this is the key that we have to copy and all you have to do, press it here. That's it. So next thing, what we have to do, we have to upload our collection. So we have choose files. So I'm going to do this and I have collection of 12 unique images. So the limit on the Stargaze is 10,000 images per collection. Of course, it can be generic art where you have different threads or it could be unique images. As you can see, my collection is made of 12 unique images. And the next part is a little bit confusing because we have to upload metadata for these images. So when you click on this image, uh, there is absolutely no information. So we have to generate metadata, which is not easy. 
So in the description, you can actually find the example. So there is the link to the example that you can correct yourself, you can change for your own collection. This is how the metadata looks like. So my images are just simple numbers and the metadata need to align for each image. So each image have to have information even if it's not the generic generative art with different threads like eyes, mouth, hair, etc. So for example, you can have this and the name of my collection is my chemical Jake. And this is the, the, the number of it, right? So if you have different collection, you change the name of it, then description. So you need to put description of the NFT, um, then the addition of the NFT, which is the number attributes. Uh, this is simple, like one attribute and the value, uh, which is the name of the token. I do believe that. So we are going to upload the metadata I have. Once again, the metadata is in the description so you can manipulate this for your own needs. I'm going to choose files and I'm going to find the metadata, select them all and upload the metadata. When it happens, you can see that now we have the different information. So this is the thread value. So this is simply, we do not have different arms, different hair, we just assign the number to the collection. So if there is more, the metadata would be longer. Uh, I will show you how to do this, but this collection is for simple NFT without different attributes yet, okay? You can simply use my metadata and create it for your images, and then you can simply edit this. So you see this name, is my chemical Jake number one. So you can change it to your NFT number one. So that would be the metadata for each different image. You can really edit this. You can edit the description. Uh, let's go back. And you can also add or edit the thread value. So this thread value is number 12. It could be a word like, you know, slim Jake, and you can add another threads as many as you like it to make it more complicated to play with rarity of the image. But this is of course not uh, generative art. I still didn't figure out generic or generative. I think generative uh, maybe. So, uh, every image will have it, as you can see, because we added the metadata. So let's move uh, to the next section. So collection details, my chemical Jake, I, I told you the name, description. Um, maybe we can use again from the, from the metadata. So this NFT collection is show of appreciation for Jake, co-founder of Stargaze. I'm going to use this. And the symbol of collection will be Jake, of course. Uh, cover image, let's choose one of the image uh, for this collection. I think number five looks just perfect for the image of the collection. Nice. Number of tokens, there is 12 tokens. A uh, unit price, you can choose your own price for the collection. I'm going to use 100 stars. In this case, it will be um, test stars and limit per address. I'm going to do three. So one address can mean three NFTs maximum. The, if you want more, you need to have other address, right? So um, let's do this. Um, it can be one, it can be two, any number. And the start time of the mint. So it has to be some time into the future as I want to do it now. Uh, it will be not that much into the future. So today is 13 September and my time is 5.44 PM. So I'm going to go forward and I'm going to make it 50. So I have six minutes left. You can uh, create, import existing whitelist addresses. So very easy, or you can create your own new whitelist, right? So with the price for the whitelist, so if you create whitelist and you want for whitelist to be cheaper, uh, you can make it. Uh, so you can choose maximum number of whitelist addresses, uh, limit per address, etc. 
uh, don't want to really waste time for it. And you can choose also the time for the whitelist. So the time for the whitelist would be before the time of minting of your main collection. But we do not have whitelist. Configure royalty. So people want to earn royalty on the art. So you can choose the percentage of the royalty uh, that you want to earn. So many people choose 5%. It can be one, I guess, it can be eight, it can be 20, whatever you want. And we need our address, our stars address, where we will be earning the royalty. So also for the faucet, you see um, the testnet stargaze and the stargaze address are the same, xy2, and this is xy2. So it doesn't really matter if you would wonder. I'm going to create the collection now. So let's hope it's all good. This is so GMI, really. Now everyone will be able to do it. We can spam Stargaze. Um, of course, we need to inst uh, instantiate WASM contract, approve. And we will make it. There is mint in four minutes. So I will show you how to get this. So we created this. Uh, there is base token URL, uh, minter contract address. I'm going to copy this, okay? And, or we can open this in the new tab. So this is quite important. So here's the information of our collection. Uh, you can see minting price, which is 100 stars plus six uh, zeros. Uh, you can see different query types. So total number of tokens is 12. Start time, uh, you can see it will start at, not sure how to translate this time, mint price 100 stars and total minted uh, count is, th there is not because we, we didn't mint uh, anything just yet. So what I'm going to do, as you can see, still have two minutes. I'm going to wait till my collection will be out so we can mint our collection. It looks like now is the time to mint our collection. So the collection should be already live. I'm going to copy my minter address. I probably copied this before already. And I'm going to Stargaze. So this is the main net. We need to go to the DevNet, other understood like testnet. So I'm going to go to devnet.publicawesome.dev. Public Awesome is the company that does develop Stargaze, I guess. Uh, you can see the number of my testnet tokens. It's over 16,000 uh, stars. And I'm going to Launchpad, right? So this is the Launchpad and you can see some collections. So I'm going to hit this collection and that's how it says. So this is the link, then Launchpad slash and this is the stars address. I need to replace it with my minter address. Hit enter. My chemical Jake. What a beauty. So I'm going to mint. Let's mint maybe two tokens. 400 stars. Uh, you can see two contracts to execute. This is so cool. This is this is basically it. Like uh you know, like we we've done it. Uh I already have some some minted on on this address because I was I was testing it and I got these two Jakes. So um this was Jake number 1 and Jake number 2. So as it goes and you can see I put the actually the threads so this is the, the value and I put them opposite. So just to make them simple. So this is 11. Of course, if you will add more attributes, you can actually create different attributes when you have generic art. Um, so let's switch the address now. So I'm going to use some different uh, wallet address to see if I can mint it too. So I changed the address now and this time I'm going to mint three chemical jakes. So hopefully I will get something cool. I really want this beauty. And that's it. 
as you can see, I spent 300 stars for three chemical jakes. And this is how it is. This is, this is my jakes. Uh, and this is how it works. I hope it was useful. Remember to modify the metadata and assign to your images. Link in the description. Uh, link to all useful links, you know, to how to create a collection and metadata in the descriptions. Remember, comment, share this video and how to earn 50 stars. The first 20 people who will comment on this video will receive 50 stars tokens. Yes, uh, you heard it right. So how you do it? The first comment has to be regular comment and then comment to yourself with your stars address. I understand some people don't want to do it, so that's fine. Um, don't feel pushed for it. Those who want to participate in the game, trying to, you know, be active and encourage you to interact with me, um, drop the stars address in your own comment so it will be a little bit hidden. Once I send you start, you can remove the you know, comment with your star address. You can use some different address for distribution uh, of the stars, etc. So with that, remember, GMI, don't cryptonyms out.